Today we're going to show you how you can take a simple CAD drawing of a building outline with some internal walls and turn that into a full structural framing plan where everything's sized in timber or in steel and concrete composite or other materials and you can do that all on a simple web page with a simple upload. So here's the site that we're developing. It's called strucampair.com and this is what it looks like by default. You start off with a seven by five meter rectangle shape, floor shape and it assumes that the outside perimeter has a wall on it so that there's a wall load associated with that uh, for design and it's very simple the idea is to compare several options of the same design so here i have on the table at the top the option the system the depth material vol volume and cost, which we'll complete later. And basically you can have timber or steel. If I select option two and say composite, I want the composite option. You can see the system's changed to composite. It's chosen a different default setting for the primary and secondary spans and the tertiary. So I just say design this option and it'll do the work. And there you'll have your composite steel and concrete design for that floor area. There's also additional loading options you can set. So at the moment, there's only a few, but we'll expand that. Residential floor, residential flat roof, and office non-tiled. You can change your floor shape. We'll come back to that later. You can also change the settings of the primary span. So if you, this is a good um, default setting for this type of structure, but if you want to overwrite that and say, I want the maximum span of the primaries to be four meters only, you can do that and it will go away and design that for you. Obviously it needs some columns because that max span was uh, seven meters. Likewise, you can do the same with a secondary span, tertiary span. So two meters is a good default for this sort of low profile composite decking. But you can change that as, as you want. Um, and then it's got a member width. So if I go to timber, change it back to timber. <coughs> and I wanna use 65 millimeter sections rather than 45s, which is another common size. It's gone away and give me a 90 by uh, a 65 width design. And you can see it does singles or doubles as it needs. So obviously the joist just needs to be a 90 by 65 single. The perimeter will have to be a double 140 by 45, uh, by 65. You've got material as well, so you can change the grade if I downgrade the material and do an alternative design, you can see that members have got a little bit bigger in that case. You've also got on the right hand side here some design information. And one of the um, important things you can get from an initial framing design is the overall depth of structure. So it will work out what the ply needs to be. Uh, this is timber, of course. Um, and it will work out the deepest possible member that it's designing. In this case, it's this central member, which is a 190 by 65. It will draw that as a section, so you can see that's the edge member B3. And you can see it's the deepest secondary edge. Uh, and that's actually a 140 by 65 because it's that member there. 
the joists J1, as you can see, are 90 by 65, and the B1, B2, which are the primaries, edge primary and middle primary, 190 by 65. If you want a CAD of this model, just click Download CAD. And the last thing probably to, to show in this brief demo is changing the floor shape. So just click this button. You've got upload your floor online. Outline, sorry. You just click upload your CAD file. Um, oh, and before I do that, I should explain that I've got three, there's three demos here. A simple floor plate, a, a larger floor plate with a void, and a large floor plate with multiple internal walls. So I've got them downloaded already. So if I do demo two, for example, you just open that up. It will show you the outline, make sure it's okay. And then you go back to, to design this option. So you're back to design, design this option, And then you've got a timber design for that floor plate. It looks like that's not very efficient as an F7 because you've got deep joists, double joists as well. Um, you've got a deep double section at the edge. You probably want to upgrade that material grade. Let's see how it looks at F17. And I've still got it set to 65. 140 by 65 joist, that's much better. Uh, if I change it back to 45, which is very standard for F grades. <clears throat> Still needs a double, so you may want to change the max span slightly uh, if you do want a single joist through there. But these are the type of things you can play around with and just experiment and see what happens. Let us know what you think about this concept. It's currently under development, as I said, so um, we would appreciate uh, suggestions. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, things you want to see, especially if you're an architect, maybe an architect uh, would be interested in this information. Um, yeah, please register your interest or just send us a, a message and let us know. Thanks. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.